Hey friends, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh. We have an amazing week ahead of us. First off, our new FT Nano Flurkin sub 250 grams is now complete, ready for its final test flight and also ready to hit the store, which means you can build one yourself. We're also gonna be taking our next step into renovating our main HQ for tiny whooping. This time we're gonna be working on the plans for our cloud lighting. And even though we had some troubles with some blackouts this week, we still got the wings on our big B-17. Alright, so we are at the point now where we're going to be joining the fuselage to the main wings here. And before we do that, I need to make a template because the wing is not perfectly flat. It's actually angled up just a little bit called positive incidence. Uh, we want to match that perfectly, but also we need to build a box that's going to pass through that the spars are going to plug in. That angle is also going to be really critical. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the formers on the B-17 here that I've already drawn, I'm laying them out on a constant plane, and then I'm going to draw a basic template that's going to help us to know exactly where to position that wing. From that part, we can go ahead and cut out where our boxes need to go, build the box, insert it, and everything should line up perfectly. Yeah, who shout out to our community? Because I don't know what we were missing or what we were thinking when we were trying to do the load test. They're absolutely right. This is where it was getting the full weight, and then this was half on both sides, so. Right, uh, you know, heat of the moment, things happen. You're tired, <laughs> okay? But also, <laughs> a big a big win is the comments around the compression and stuff, and they're absolutely right. So, Dave went back and he put in this cap strip on both sides instantly. No give, way stronger. And so we put this all the way out to the upper nacelle. This part, the whole thing is going to be um, glass as well, so we're not too worried about this part. Yeah, either. it's. I mean, the farther out you get on the wing, the less loading there is. So. Yeah, yeah. But um, thank you guys for your comments. We take them serious and we learn every time. Oh, look at that. It's perfect. Let me grab a couple more bolts to sit in there just to... Yeah, that's great. <laughs> All right, so now that we have these boxes built, I'm cutting out the smaller spar box here. We're gonna do the same treatment. After everything fits and we make sure everything's good, David's gonna glass that as well, and then we'll be able to start cutting that into the fuselage with the proper incidence. There's a hole in our plane, Josh. Yeah. Well, here, let me, uh, let me, I got, I'll plug this real quick just to be on the safe side. That was way easier, man. Yeah, that went really smooth. That looked, that looked super smooth. There you go. Good. Yeah. This way. Oh, it's perfect. We're done through there, Stephanie. Uh, let's take a look in there. Buddy hey, buddy. <laughs> that's yeah, awesome. That's, that's awesome. That's exactly what we were. Well done, guys. That's hey, huge. Thank you, buddy. All right, one down, one to go. It was too loud. All right, I, I, need, I need you guys' help. And I was gonna draw this in CAD, but then I got impatient. <laughs> I didn't want to measure it all Is this sweet? You no, like my battleship? I like your new CAD de uh, design <laughs> software. It's phenomenal. <laughs> Now for the past couple months, we've been making our main HQ an awesome area to fly our tiny whoops or micro quads through. We just finished up with our Star Wars area with our Anakin Skywalker pods. Now we're gonna be putting our attention towards the main area. In that area, one of the cool features we're gonna have is lightning clouds. So here's here's where the, or the uh, FTCA wall is. Here is where our pitches are. You know, I didn't wanna draw on work benches and stuff. This area is already established as Star Wars area. We're gonna get the stars in there, we're gonna paint the ceiling black. This area I wanna be like really like whimsical, like total tailspin, you know. Um, but we have these lights, we have the registers, we have problem areas with the ceiling kind of peeling, that's what we wanna cover up with the clouds. Should I just start drawing on it and we can yeah, order pencil or? That's a problem area, so if we kind of bring the clouds, something like that. Yep. Cause then people will, you'll fly, you fly it, and then if we have it draped down, it'll almost like make like a corridor. Can you kind of picture right. what I'm feeling? Yeah, I was, I was kind of thinking something like that, like with a cloud like in this area, so there's like a little... Ooh, I like that. That well, would look pretty that look, cool. That looks good, because you've got, you've got your entry point here, you've got your entry point here, and then you've got different lines to kind of... Yeah. Sit. And you can circle and, and go in and out as, you, as needed. It would be kind of neat if we could uh, find like different colored fluff for the clouds and I have like a stormy section over here on this side oh, like, and uh, that side like bright and sunny. And that's cool because if you kind of play with this world here being on the stormier side right, yeah. and this world come into the more sunny, sunny. side, um, sunny as, side, as you pass through you have some defining reveals from the quad yeah. that you'll see. 
Yeah, that's, that's what I was kind of picturing, like flying through the clouds and it's like dark and stormy and then it's like, ah. Uh. I like this, so I'll, I'll put this in like actual dimensions and then I'll look at the lanterns, I'll get a whole bunch of pillow fluff and then we'll just start experimenting with like shading the clouds and build them. And we have the LEDs in now, right? Mm -hmm. So, all right. Perfect. Thank you guys, I appreciate it. Hey, yeah. let's go. Let's do it, it's gonna be sick. All right, it is design time here. I had a great meeting with the guys. We have a great vision for the ceiling and how we're gonna do the cloud lightning. Now's my chance to take it from concept to reality. And for that, I'm gonna be drawing this up on my computer. And speaking of computers, this sucker goes with me everywhere I go. If you guys know, I love to travel and I'm always designing on the fly. With our partner today, NordVPN, I can do so safely and securely. Now, whether I'm sitting at home or in the airport, I know with NordVPN, I can easily use their one-click or auto-click setup to have security and protection. And with over 5,300 servers in 60 different countries, I don't have to worry about connecting to a server that's not gonna give me amazing speed. And speaking of speed, NordVPN has been confirmed with speed tests to be the fastest VPN out there. Now, whether it's on my iPad or my computer, NordVPN can support up to six different devices on every major platform. Now, security is definitely a real thing, especially when going through airports. That was the one time my computer was hacked, and if I had NordVPN, it simply wouldn't have happened. That cost me lots of trouble and a lot of canceled credit cards to be able to get everything back in shape. I love simplicity, I love value, and NordVPN can give you both of those at a huge discount. Simply go to nordvpn.com slash flight test and you can receive a two year plan plus one month at an amazing discount. And it's also risk free with Nord's 30 day money back guarantee. Now I got a lot of design work on the ceiling and also it's time to glue our spar boxes into the B-17. All right, so my thought is we'll get this slid through and get it lined up on the other side and into that hole. And then we'll just put epoxy around here and epoxy around the inside of the foam and slide it in the rest of the way. Perfect. And then we're gonna have enough wiggle in the wings where we can get that fine tuned before we put uh, the Gorilla Glue or Insta Foam and, and all right. that. Right, and we went on ahead and traced out the pattern of our wing spar on the fuselage too, just to give us another reference point. So exciting. We're gonna have wings on shortly. All right. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 oh, it's happening. <laughs> yeah. We just finished up test fitting the wings with the B-17s and we are about to release our newest product. We're going from a 20 foot B-17 to a 20 inch nano flurkin. So on the full size flurkin, the little FPV cameras on the inside here, we want to reserve that for the uh, Instago. Uh, so we're going to put the little guy here and you printed this in what, how long? Um, it takes like 20 minutes to print total. That's awesome. Yeah, Dave designed this uh, really quickly for us and the neat thing about it is even if you put it on a different airplane, this is adjustable. So in this case, I'm going to adjust this down a little bit because I like looking more at the ground than I do the horizon. Let's go fly. <laughs> so this is the first time flying with the FPV system and the Instago 2 on there and the 3 cell 850. So this is about as heavy as I think you ever want it to be. Throwing I'm going to go full commit then, okay? Yeah, might as well. Are my Elevon still? Yep. Ooh. <laughs> you launch it? Can toss it for you? Yeah, sure. All right, here we go. There it is. That's awesome. <laughs> Video good? It's really good, yeah. It feels like I'm flying the big one, though. <laughs> Whoop, pine <Ooh>. trees. <laughs> yeah, the video is pretty ridiculously good for SD. <laughs> How's it looking from your end? Oh, it looks great. This is cool, Dave. You're going to have to try this. I mean, that's hands off. If it survives, you got to do something well, crazy. We deliberately made sure <laughs> we didn't uh, let Lee fly until we got this far. <laughs> we were on our way out. He's like, well, can I fly? I'm like, not until we're done with the video. And he's like, well, share your toys. Yeah, he looked a little disappointed. We'll have to let him fly for sure. This is so cool. <laughs> Nope, into the Ooh. trees. Whoops. <laughs> I, I, I was like, I'm going to go into the trees. Not low enough. Oh, I'm in them. It just... <laughs> it just stuck it, in like a dart? It's, right, yeah, let's go, it's, let's go it didn't it. fall. <laughs> this is why I should have let you fly sooner. Oh, there it is. Where is oh, it? You hit big branches. Oh, I blew... Oh. He's going to be so mad at me. Yeah, we can glue it back together. Yeah, it's not bad. Um, where's the go? There it is. <laughs> All right. Well, I'd say it's a success. Hi. <laughs>
<laughs> Is it still recording? Yeah. Oh, I nailed that. You know. What is it with forkins getting stuck in trees? I don't know. <laughs> you hit right on the camera. Look at how it's bent back. Oh, yeah, the camera immediately turned off <laughs> it's on me. in there. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't feel bad about the wing coming off because I was full throttle, full commit. Whoops. <laughs> wow. Yeah, you can see right where it smacked. Yeah. Now we can glue it back Hot together. Glue. We'll see what happens. I want to see the fly. Wait, wait, splinter. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's fix it up, and now that we've damaged it, we can let Lee play. Perfect. He's going to be like, yeah. So do we have even have Wi-Fi or anything? All right. No. So we had an ice storm yesterday. We have wind today. We have no power right now. We went out to lunch, and you lost power, right now? Yep. We got a ton of work to do, and uh, we're not going to stop. Uh, we have, how many EcoFlows do we have? I think we have two or three or four something. Four yeah. or five and something. Last. We had two, two pros and two deltas, I think. So Noah has one EcoFlow on his computer because you have to edit the build video still. We have one EcoFlow on the server, and that gives us one for here. And then I think we're going to run down to one down to manufacturing and see if we can fire up the heat tunnel with it. Perfect. <laughs> Hashtag winning Ohio. This is Ohio. That's it. Let's go. It looks like I'm staring at your butt. <laughs> I could probably move that out of the way for you. You know, I appreciate it, but it's okay. I'm going hard. Well, now that you're an old man. That's right. There's a, there's <laughs> <a>. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what was that all about? <laughs> Next way. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Mixer, what, is this? What, what are you doing down here? What kind of operation do you have? We have no power. We have to entertain ourselves. Oh. <laughs> All right. So Dave and I got the fuselage and the wings nice and level here, and the spars level. The fuselage is level. We use the laser level to make sure all the points from the wing tips to the center section of the spar are all the same. Now what we can do that we have this fastened down. We're gonna slide out one wing. We're gonna put our epoxy on. We're gonna slide the wing back in, let it dry, and we'll do the exact same process on the other side. That's gonna lock in both of our wings and marry the spar to the wing. Full bottle of Gorilla glue on one wing. <laughs> oh my there you go. You ready? I guess if we if we try to lift up and ride on the bottom edge as much as possible, right? Oh yeah, that's working out great. Dude. You know, we can always drive a screw right here and a screw right here, and then. That's true. That's a good idea. I'll go grab a drill. Okay. Oh, it just seems so wrong. Here we go. Now, if, you're, if we just let that dry, we should be good. Yeah. <laughs> so this is a really cool thing about tracing out the two templates and matching up uh, to that one main one is we have dihedral, we have wing incidents, we have all that stuff that has to be really accurate. And because of this, we can simply line that up and just fasten it together, let it dry. The glue is going to expand in those areas. It's going to grip everything. As long as we're patient, it's okay. It'll, it'll just be solid as a rock and, and we're done. Yeah, we won't be doing the other one until tomorrow, probably. A few minutes later. Oh, that was a good one. It is still in there. Oh, now you're gluing it in. <laughs> oh, it came. It went in and came out the other side. Can you do that again? We didn't get that. Look at this. Watch, ready? Watch this end. It was through and through. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's creepy. I need a pair of pliers. <laughs> okay. That's a splinter. <laughs> you can shank by this far. You can put that on the 
That's right. Now it's got my bloody and your blood in the flame. So. Monday morning, we should have a solid plane. We can't wait that long. <laughs> All right, let's try it. Patience is not his virtue. There it goes. <laughs> That's satisfying. My uh, gloves must have worked. Touch something? Yeah. Holy cow, dude. It's, it's so it light. If, like you said earlier, if we put four monster motors on this without covering anything, it would just fly like a, a vapor. Yeah. I don't think it'd have enough speed to really penetrate through the wind very well, though. It would just <laughs> float around. Okay. Well, you took the most stressful part of the whole build, which was the spars, and you made it look easy. All right, so the wings may be attached, but we are far from done from the B-17 here. Our next step is we're gonna be designing the nacelles, mounting them into place, and also we gotta do our retract box. Yeah, yeah, um, we still have some experimenting to do with that and figuring stuff out, but we have to cut the nacelles and get some sort of box mounted in there for the retracts to go into. Definitely, and we had a lot of fun with the Nano Flurkin, and by the way, it is out as of now. So if you guys wanna fly your own Nano Flurkin, again, sub 250 grams, no RC requirements around it. It's an amazing flyer and an amazing experience. And we're not done with designing here. Next week, we're gonna turn our attention towards the Gremlin line. We have a couple new frame ideas we wanna do, so make sure you hit that subscribe bell. We'll see you next time.